You've probably never heard of this before unless you've seen my other video on this cube. This is a 3x3 with the 2x2 center. And you would think you can just solve it like a normal 3x3. But actually, you cannot because it has the same type of parity as you get on a 4x4. And it's possible to fix on the 4x4 with special algorithms to do it. But the problem with this cube is that algorithms on a 4x4 involve breaking the centers apart. And when you're solving a 4x4, like a 3x3, you have the outer layers, the middle, which is just two layers, and then the bottom. You cannot break the middle apart and make it like it's a 4x4. That means that if you get that same parity, it is not possible to solve on a 3x3. In fact, if you do the 4x4 algorithm using these layers, it's just like doing it like this instead of like this. So I'm going to show you possible parity cases you could get on a 4x4. So the first is OLL parity, where two edges are flipped and they're supposed to be on the opposite side. That is actually not possible on this 3x3 either. And this, but the algorithm for solving this also involves breaking up the centers. I'll show you what the algorithm is. It's R prime, U2, L prime, F2, L, F2. R2, U2, R, U2, R prime, U2, F2, R2, F2, and that involves breaking the centers. The second one, which you can get on this 3x3, is called PLL parity. It's where either two edges are flipped on the opposite side, and then you could get either two sides solved, or... You could get something like this, or this needs to be here, but these two are flipped, or these two are flipped. It's just like where two edges are flipped and where they're not supposed to be. If you do the flipping algorithm that you do on a 3x3, it actually doesn't work. It just does that, and now you have these two are switched. So the only way to fix that is breaking up the centers, and on this cube, there is only one center, so that's why... It it is not possible to solve on this cube. So if you get something like that, then it usually means that you put the centers in the wrong place and you should solve it all over again from a different center. So I'm gonna do the algorithm to fix this. It's W2, double R2, U2, and then middle R2, U2, double R2, double U2, and that fixes that. And now when you get something like this, then you just do R2, and then you do UR, U clockwise three times, and then R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, clock, counterclockwise five times, and then just turn the top once and bring the right down, and that would solve it. But on this cube, that is not possible because there is only one center. You can't break up the centers and make it like a 4x4. In fact, if you do the parity algorithm like this, you end up messing the cube up a lot. And this is how it ends up like. That's why you need two layers. So I'm going to scramble this cube and solve it as many times until I get that, un that unusual parity. And I'm going to show you what happens and what to do when you get that. Now I have something that is really unfamiliar. This needs to go here, but this needs to go over here, and this needs to go he here. And then this one is solved. So I have the final corners. I can do the algorithm 
to fix that. But then I get something like this where these two are flipped instead of them solved. That is the parity that is not possible to solve on this cube because on this cube you never get anything like that unless you actually take two edge pieces out and switch them. But on this cube it is possible to solve. I'm going to show you what happens if I put the center, if I solve it from the centers being in the wrong place. And then these two are flipped. That's because I solved it from the wrong centers. So I'm going to use this, since it's right here, I'm going to put these two pieces up, up here, like that, where the whites are, and I'm going to do a resolve, and look at that, this is totally familiar, this needs to go here, and then this needs to be over here, and this needs to be right back here, switched like that. So like in a kind of a triangle shape like this. And I know exactly what algorithm to do to fix that. And that solves the cube. So yeah, that's why this cube is actually really hard to solve because you get the same type of parity as you do on a four by four. And on the four by four, it's possible, but that's because you have to break up the centers to do it. On a three by three, you cannot break the centers. So it is not possible. But anyway, that's the end of this video. And I hope you liked it as much as you liked the last one. And I'll see you in the next video.